we head to the Verizon Center in D.C. There's Defensive Player of the Year, Joakim Noah, and John Wall coming off a nice game three. Kirk Heinrich with the floater. Uh-uh. The Wizards are running. And it's Wall to Trevor Ariza, Mike Seven, Zip Washington. Talking about the pace, you know, we, we mentioned that, uh, you know, before the top of the game that, you know, they would have, minus Nene, they would have to push the pace, and I thought they did early. Came out and kind of smacked Chicago right in the face early and never really looked back. Trevor Ariza for three, 17 to 2 Washington, and Randy Whitman pumping up his team. That's what we're doing down there, that's why we're where we're at. All right, continue to get stops. And they would continue to get stops. Underneath to Carlos Boozer and Trevor Booker with the block and the primal scream. Hey, that's that energy that he was bringing, that effort that he was bringing. And it was huge because it just ignited the fast break for the Wizards. Look at this one on DJ Augustine. Got to love that D. Got to love the energy. We go to the second quarter, and this is when Taj Gibson flexed Bones. Well, I, like Coach Woodson said, if it wasn't for Taj Gibson, this game is, is over. I mean, it's a blowout. So Taj came in, provided some instant offense. You saw him on the break there, then working on the post. And the Bulls got themselves right back in the game because of number 22. Yeah, they trailed by 15 thanks to uh, Gibson. They got it within four, but back come the Wizards in a game of runs. Not an alley-oop. That was an alley lay-in for Martell Webster. Yeah, you know, again, their bench guys are a, a key to, you know, what the Wizards are trying to get established. They didn't get a whole lot off, off the bench tonight, but it was productive. You know, Webster coming in and making a few shots early, and they're going to need that the rest of the way out. He'll put the Wizards up 11. John Wall with the steal. He's going all the way. They're up 13. Well, that's what I said earlier. The turnovers killed the Bulls because the Wizards got out and ran and finished. And uh, you can't just turn the ball over. They had 16 turnovers, gave up 29 points. And a buzzer beater at the end of the first half by Trevor Ariza. Bones, they were up 15. Well, I, did, I know the halftime speech from Coach Thibodeau was not going to be pretty, but after that three, I think it got worse on his walk from the hallway to the locker room. And then they start off the third quarter with more of the same. Ariza penetrates, gets in there. Boozer with a bad foul out of position. And the end one opportunity. And then Carlos Boozer called for a, for a flagrant one foul on Marching Gortat. That was his fifth foul in the third quarter. Did you think that was flagrant? I don't know. It was kind of close. He just took a hard foul. I mean, they called it. Hey, it's part of it. It is what it is. John Wall with the miss. Marching Gortat. Looking for somebody, good guy to find, Trevor Ariza. Oh, he banked it in. It was that kind of day for him. Hey, he banked it off the glass. The bank's open on Sunday. <laughs> and the shot is off. Uh, Gooden keeping it alive. And Bradley Beal finger rolling at home. And Wizards owner Ted Leonsis loving it. Taking advantage of Mike Dunleavy, who took a hard fall on that one. He'd go out of the game. They were checking the left arm, left wrist area. Would the Bulls have one more run in them? They did. They got the Butler three, then the Gibson miss, followed up by Noah, and then within 10, so striking distance. But then shot clock running down. It's marching Gortat, finding Trevor Ariza, flying in baseline style. That was it. The Washington Wizards win game four. The final score, 98-89, and there is Ted Leonsis, the owner of the Wizards. Uh, loving what he is seeing, although a subdued look on his face right there. Taj Gibson.